and welcome back to part three of our user login tutorial okay what we're going to do now is we're going to create a session in which the user can enter a page and they're allowed to um, be inside this page as long as they have successfully logged in now to start any session at all you're going to need a um, function at the top which is start session I believe it's start session not session start let's just give that a quick test right okay so it must be session start always confuses me it's session start okay so refresh resend and you're in and we've started a session basically um, this lets us add a session variable so you're in um, what I'm gonna do after this is I'm gonna say um, click here to enter um, the secret uh, the member page okay and um, this is going to be a link to a page called member.php okay so let's just recap as long as we reset we send the right data we're going to say click here to enter a member page which we haven't created yet and we're also going to start bear in mind we've just created our session start this is very important um, we're going to create a session and to do this it's similar to most other it's called um, well the way to the way to um, the correct syntax sorry is uh, dollar sign underscore and session and then in brackets like this uh, square brackets we're going to give it a session name so I'm going to say username and that's going to be equal to our username okay or if you like DB username because that's more a direct value from the database okay so we have our session set um, if we echo out our session in any page now as long as the user is in their browser in that browser that you've logged in with this will be set as a session so to prove this I'm going to create a new page it's going to be the member.php page so I'm going to save this out as member.php I think it was member not members yep yeah. and in here I'm going to say echo and I'm going to echo the and that is the username session okay um, in fact I'm going to uh, concatenate on the start welcome and on the end just to be a bit more expressive a exclamation mark so this should um, as long as we've logged in here and run this command here setting our session in our browser to our username on any other page you create if this was any other page along here if you'd created any page and you used this as long as it's been set it will work um, just to let you know you are also going to need this function inside here as well so you're going to need session start in every page that you call or declare a session so let's restart and let's go back to the main page okay so i'm going to log in with my details that's alex and abc log in you're in click here to enter a member page now I assume now that there's no error I have successfully created my session if I click here welcome ah and we've got nothing so let's go back and see what we've done wrong DB username set this to username and I'm not using a comparison here so I have put double equals which was wrong of me okay so now this should work let's go back to our index page and let's log in again as we did before log in okay you're in click here to enter the member page click here welcome Alex now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go back to our login page now most people would think oh that data has been lost now but if I go back to our member page that's member PHP press enter is still saying Alex um, in some circumstances if I close off my browser and I reopen my browser and I go localhost um, PHP Academy um, and go back to my page that's login session and back to my member page I'm still logged in 
okay so my user is logged in if they close their browser they're still going to be logged in when they enter back this is a very useful function if you're doing this kind of logging in um, a lot of websites use this to keep you logged in but now what I want to do is I want to create a logout page now to log out we're all we're going to need to do is create a separate page and let's just save this as logout.php and what we need to do is we need to end our session here so what we're going to do is we first of all before we destroy a session we need to start it so session start okay and then we're going to need to say uh, i believe that's the right command yeah session start and we're going to need to say session destroy oh destroy destroy okay and that will basically be it if we run this page here that would destroy our session and we i could say here as a friendly error message you've been logged out click here to return okay and um, i'm going to create this as a link back to our index.php page okay now i'm going to test this again um, let's say ah, in here we're going to need to create let's say a break there and i'm going to create a link to say log out it's important that we link the user up to our logout.php page otherwise they don't know how to log out okay so we'll refresh this and i can see i've got a logout, logout page click on this you've been logged out click here to return so i assume now i've been logged out let's try and go back to our member page.php and we've got no variable here now you're not going to want the user to have access to this page because they haven't been logged in in the first place so what we're going to say here is we're going to say session start and i'm going to say if session and the session name okay then i'm going to um, i'm going to want to echo out, out my data to say welcome else i'm going to want to die not i'm not going to want to die but the page is going to want to die and i want to say um, you must be logged in okay so basically we're saying if this session exists i.e if it has been created by using a correct username and password we're going to say we're going to echo out our friendly message to say welcome otherwise kill the page and say you must be logged in so this is as far as we're going to go with this but i'm just going to take you through it at the moment i'm not logged in um, if i do log in i'm in there's my member page i can log out i return to here now the bit we've just created member.php press enter and you must be logged in okay so if we want to log in and for example say i'm going to log in here but i'm not going to click here to go i'm just going to forward myself member.php my session has been created and i've been allowed access okay so that's it for that uh, this is the last part of this tutorial if you've got any questions on this it's quite complicated i'm more than happy to help so thanks for watching and see you soon